Okay, I need to set some context here because it's actually very important. For the past, shoot, I should have thought of this earlier, three years, two, two years, <clears throat> it has taken me, I've realized this pattern that it's taken between four to six months of me in a new lifestyle and new location for me to truly realize if I enjoy and like that lifestyle and place. So when I moved to San Francisco, <clears throat> it was about four to six months in when I started to question my decision, when the, the excitement and, you know, newness of the location had set in. Same thing happened in Denver. I moved there and about four to six months in, you know, I was still riding that high of like, oh, you know, I could, I could invest in real estate here and like, I could see myself living here like four to six months. And that's, that's when like ever, the dust kind of settled. <clears throat> so what I journaled about this morning was it's been, we're coming up on seven months of van life here with a couple, I mean, I just spent two, two and a half weeks, um, in Santa Fe, um, not necessarily living in my van. Um, but it's been, I think enough to establish this pattern to the point where I can ask the question, how am I feeling truly about van life and this lifestyle? Because it's been long enough that I have an understanding of, you know, what it's truly like. The, the, good, the good and the bad and the ugly. <clears throat> and I think there was a, a realization that I came to that was, that was new for me this morning. Something that I've been thinking a little bit more about and struggling a little bit more about struggling with is <clears throat> like productivity and efficiency. I feel like right now I've hit between 60 and 80% efficiency and I feel good with what I'm able to create and my <clears throat> my path going forward. But there's always that question of getting from 80% to 90, 95%, 100%. And I think I'm being influenced by <clears throat> the creators that I follow online, pretty much all of which don't do van life. I have yet to find someone else in this niche of van life, productivity, self-improvement, um, pretty much everyone lives in an apartment or house or co uh, condo or something. And so I think I have this vision that in order to get to 100% efficiency, I need the uh, consistency of an established place to be able to uh, be close to a gym, uh, come back, work at any time during the day, have a, a you know a table and my laptop sitting right there ready for me to work, um, being able to go to the gym, having you know a meal delivery service or something to help save me time. I I feel like those are the pieces that I need in order to get to 100%. But here's the kicker. What I find is interesting is that in all of the apartment life experience that I've had so far in my past and what I just had in Santa Fe, I haven't proven to myself that, that I would actually even be able to get to 80% efficiency living in an apartment. Let me explain that. Something that, one of the things that, that pushed me out of my apartment was the comforts of my apartment. And something that I, I am grateful for and that I wanted to pursue in van life was the discomfort 
and the pushes that it provides you. I don't, I don't think I've talked about this before, but there's something about camping somewhere, especially in an urban environment, that once I wake up at 6.30, there's a push to get me to move and go somewhere else. And so my, uh, my first option essentially is a coffee shop. And so that push, like I, I wake up and I'm going and it's a, it's a similar thing in the evenings. There's, there's a push or, or there's something that stops me from laying on the couch, watching YouTube past my bedtime. And that is there is a point at which I need to move my van to find a camp spot. And so there is a natural deadline every single night that pushes me. And, and it's it's been like these, these little nudges, these little discomforts that are worth paying the price that have taught me a, and enabled the discipline that I've learned to create that isn't there when you're, when I was living in an apartment, because when I wake up, you know, I don't need to go anywhere. When I'm, you know, winding down at bedtime, I don't need to move anywhere. I don't need to take an action. I, there is no like deadline. So it's all just self, self-discipline. And so what I think is interesting is that something that's changed since these apartment exper- apartment life experiences is that i've learned how to take care of my mental health better and i've i've i feel like i've i'm being pushed more to be consistent particularly uh going to the gym which is part of mental health um as well as what i'm creating <clears throat> but i just thought it was so interesting that I, I'm believing that living in a apartment, an apartment is what's going to take me from 80 to a hundred percent, but each opportunity I get living in an apartment, I can't even reach 80%. So why do I think that living in an apartment is going to get me to 100% when I still haven't proven it to myself that that's even possible? I thought that was super interesting and something that kind of <clears throat> sparked out of my, my journaling practice this morning. But I think to sum, to sum most of it up is the discomforts are still worth the upside. It's still worth paying the price of you know, not having a consistent, consistent place to sleep every night, needing to get up and move my van. Um, just everything that goes around that, that comes with living the van life, particularly in urban environments, it's still worth the price because I've learned to go from probably 30% efficiency when I was living in my apartment, like this past year, fall, spring, summer, up to probably 80%. Maybe that's too high, 60, 70%. You know, starting getting on YouTube, um, creating content, having a a strategy, creating guides and systems, building my second brain, and creating a clear path forward for me. I've done all of that while also living van life. And that is, those are things that I have not been able to do living in an apartment. And so it's, it's not over yet. It's not over. There may be changes coming, but it's not over. Anyway, I hope you've, thought my rambly rant made sense. See you tomorrow.